And before you dislike the video because I can feel the anger from the comments section already. Oh, okay, so you most likely, most definitely, 99% sure you clicked on this video because the title caused you to put your keyboards at the ready. Go ahead, I'm sitting here eating popcorn. Well, not really, because I don't particularly like popcorn. But still, this video is actually not what you think though. This is from an X tracer to other tracers in general. Not that hard to believe I used to trace at one point or another. I mean, every artist did. But, okay. So let's go back to the year 2010. I had this obsession with cut corner method, which is tracing. And I used to sketch over the t like the top of people, you know, real people, still life drawings, and claim them as my own. Actually, it's pretty surprising that people didn't catch up to it and, at all. Like, I pretty much have deleted them now, going back. I think I've actually still got some on my computer. Oh, Lordy, I'm going to go through my hard drives. But I kind of stopped in 2011 because I decided drawing the actual, you know, tedious work was fun. And you know what? I'm just going to cop it on the chin because, hey, no worries. We all do stupid shit when we're younger. Am I right? Am I right? Yeah. I mean, even now, it's pretty easy that I, I could tell the difference. And I won't lie, I've traced in the past six months. For this video, of course. <laughs> Got you there, didn't I? God damn it. <laughs> just already even even I kid uh, okay I kid all right <laughs> so let me give you guys like who trace or may think of tracing some advice right just don't just don't trace period not because it's bad but because it's actually hard to learn strokes and you know how how hard you need to press to paint something most of the characters you actually draw when you trace become very stiff and lifeless. Unlike, you know, when you're drawing without doing that, when you're drawing it freehand. You don't tend to have a flow in the way that you draw, if that kind of makes sense. And you really don't learn the human proportions like you would normally. And I hate telling people this, but it's not the way you need to learn to draw. I mean, yeah, you can get pretty far with it. But that means that you have no flexibility when it comes to style changing. Like, I mean, I could change different styles at the whim of a hat. But that's because I've learnt both ways. And I guess in the end of the day, tracing did help a little, but not too much because actually learning, you know, still life. And honestly, I'm not the best artist. And I'll tell you that 100% that I'm really not a good artist when it comes down to it. But at the same time, if you want to be successful in the industry, you kind of like have to be adaptable so that way you can change your style consistently because they want you to be able to draw this in an animu style and then the other in sort of a mangu style and then <laughs> mangu <laughs> just call me manga, mangu and then they want to draw dc comic style and they want to draw kids style you know and that kind of piles up but look at the end of the day, I'm a pretty mo mediocre artist when it comes down to it. Like, I'm going to say that again. I do more 3D art than I draw, so... We have pros and cons. And, I mean, as you can see, freehand, you know, might not have the best proportions that it can do. But it has a lot more life to it. And look, I'm not saying that there's anything wrong with tracing poses. Like, it's a pretty common practice in the professional industry. Newsflash... You'll find it in animations and you'll find it even in concept. They'll even paint over 3D models for Christ's sake, just because they're so lazy that they don't want to draw like the middle part of it. And yeah, before you go, oh my God, tracing is bad, okay? Keep in mind that the corner cutter trick is what they used to push out in these industries. And I know morally it doesn't feel good, but honestly, art will eat at your soul anyway. You're pretty much selling your soul to the devil when you're drawing. Not gonna lie. But in all honesty, I hope you enjoyed this little rant or 
advice or whatever you can call it because yeah and thank you for watching you beautiful people and if you end up liking it subscribe for more content like this i guess tell me down in the comment section what you think see yous